social media, we want you to know that you can be blessed today. Wherever you are, whatever your need is, God can meet you wherever you are. In Jesus' name. We want to acknowledge our sister church in Lakeland. We also acknowledge our bishop, Bishop Kenneth Gruber. Hallelujah. We are certainly blessed. There is a blessing taking place on 1317 Road Avenue. Hallelujah. A triumphal church. The Lord said, Upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail. Hallelujah. At this time, let us all stand as our praise and worship team comes for the opening hymn.
If God be for you, who can stand against you? With every head bowed and every heart believing, Father, in Jesus' name, we pray this morning that today will be a special service. That someone's issue be changed this morning. Let any issues of blood be healed. Let any black blindness, whether it be physical or spiritual blindness, let that person receive their sight. Let the sensing soul be saved this morning. Let somebody go down in the name of Jesus in the water. We pray that the angels will gather this morning. Whatever need is in the house, Father, we pray that that need will be met. We thank you, Father, for shedding your blood on the cross. We thank you for your death, burial, and resurrection. Oh, Father, we thank you this morning that you are God and you are God alone. And beside you, there is no other. And now we look unto you from where all of our help comes from. Our help comes from you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And amen. Remain standing as we read our concert scripture from Psalm 27. We'll read verses 1 through 6 and 10 through 14. If you have your Bibles or if you have it on your phone, read along with me. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Who shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even my enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Though an host should account against me, my heart shall not fear. The war should rise against me, in this will I be confident. One thing have I desired of the Lord, that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. For in the time of trouble, he shall hide me in his pavilion. In the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me. He shall set me up upon a rock, and now shall my head be lifted up above my enemies round about me. Therefore will I offer in this tabernacle sacrifices of joy. I will sing, yea, I will sing praises unto the Lord. When my father and my mother forsake me, then the Lord will take me up. Teach me thy way, O Lord, and lead me in a plain path because of mine enemies. Deliver me not over unto the will of mine enemies. For false witnesses are risen up against me, and such as breathe out cruelty. I had fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait on the Lord. Be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Hallelujah. Give God praise for his word. Hallelujah. We're going to remain standing as we recite our mission statement together. To evangelize the world for Jesus Christ. To equip every believer to become a true disciple of Christ and to engage those social problems that challenge the communities we have been called to serve. You may be seated at this time as our praise and worship team comes to take us further.
hallelujah. The, the God we serve is real. We serve a real God. So when I might be straddling the fence this morning, thinking about whether or not I should serve this God that they are celebrating and praising. Hallelujah. I am a witness that God can save and he can keep you. Hallelujah. I was on my way to hell and enjoying the trip. Hallelujah. But the Lord turned me around. Placed my feet on solid ground. Hallelujah. And I'm so glad I'm here. I'm so glad I'm here in Jesus' name. The Bible declares that uh, uh, he that have an ear, let him hear what the Spirit of the Lord has to say. And our bishop has been telling us that this is the year of our spiritual enlargement. God is opening our eyes, opening doors for us, our spiritual minds. And I just thank God for that word because he's been doing just what Bishop told us what he was going to do. And the Lord has been giving me visions. And I saw in one of these visions, I kept finding myself in abandoned apartment complexes. Totally abandoned. All the people moved out. And it was from one com apartment complex to another. And I was like, Lord, what does this mean? And then last week, I got a call from one of our parents. And she said, Dean Dixon, she said, our, par our apartment complex is shutting down. And we don't have any place to go. We don't know what school our son will be attending next year. And as I'm talking to her, I don't even know how the call got to me. It should have went another way. But as she was talking, I was just saying to myself, the Lord is real. He will show you things to come. He will show you things to come. And when he shows you, you have to be prepared. You have to respond. Because she said the whole apartment complex is shutting down. And I asked her, I said, are there any more complexes that you know are shutting down? She named three, so a total of four is shutting down. So we've got to be ready. When the Lord speaks, we've got to be ready to respond. Hallelujah. Our speaker this morning is our Bishop, Dr. Kenneth Grover. Hallelujah. Our ship of the old block, as they say, of our beloved apostle, Gentle L. Gruber Sr. Hallelujah. Before he comes, let us receive our morning solos. Yeah. 
offer himself without spot to God. Purge your conscience from dead works mm -hmm. to serve the living God. And for this cause, he is the mediator mm. of the New Testament. That by means of death, for the redemption of the transgressions that were under the first testament. But they which are called might receive the promise of eternal inheritance. For where a testament is, there must also be a necessity, a necessity by the death of the testament. I want to use a subject today, the ultimate sacrifice. The ultimate sacrifice. Jesus became our sacrifice. The lamb that was slain, the Bible says, from the foundation of the world. God already had a plan for our sins. Because he knew we couldn't do right. He knew that Adam would fall. Praise God. So in his infinite wisdom, he had already prepared a sacrifice. He had already made a way for his son to come to die for our sins. The writer says, for if the blood of bulls and goats, ashes of the heifer, mm -hmm. sprinkling the unclean, sanctified to the purifying of the even if that natural sacrifice was able to purify everything that touched it, Jesus, it got something. Amen. It purified it too for the purification of the body. God used that natural thing mm -hmm. to cause sanctification. He sprinkled the blood upon the people, upon the instruments, upon everything that was defiled. <laughs> and the Lord used that. Hallelujah. It was only a temporary situation. Hallelujah. God still knew there would be an ultimate sacrifice yes. that would have to be made. So he sent his only son Thank you, Jesus. into the world Thank you, Jesus. that mankind would know Jesus for themselves. Yes. And he says, how much more shall the blood of Christ, who through the eternal spirit offered himself without spot to go, shall it not purge your conscience from dead works to serve a living God? Praise the Lord, hallelujah. The cross was not the death of Jesus. The cross was only, praise the Lord, a sacrifice of a spotless lamb. Hallelujah. 
that was to be offered up for my sins, for your sins. Praise the Lord. He hung upon that cross, having done no wrong, having committed no sins. The perfect man. Hallelujah. But he submitted himself unto death. Not for himself. Praise the Lord. But he died for us. That we can live a life that's pleasing to God. He hung there. Hallelujah. From the sixth to the ninth hour. Amen. He hung there till the moon went down in the blood. He hung there till the sun, the yes, you in sun, refused to shine. Hallelujah. The S-O-N began to shine. Hallelujah. The earthquake. Thank you, Jesus. The world that he had built began to worship him in a reaction that only God could have done. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. He had done no evil. He had done no wrong. But he submitted himself. Praise the Lord. He didn't fight back. He didn't complain. Praise the Lord. He said, Father, if it's your will, let it happen to me. Not my will, but I want your will to be done. Hallelujah. And he laid down his life. And he said to the Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. And he died on that cross. Hallelujah. Somebody say he died. He died. He just didn't pass out. He died. Amen. He made the ultimate sacrifice. Thank you, God. Upon that cross. Praise the Lord. He died for you, for me. He died to purify our bodies. His own, praise the Lord, divine personality. He offered himself so that we can have a purified conscience. We can come to God and say, Lord, forgive me. Lord, I've sinned Amen. and come short of your glory. Oh, Lord, I need you to help me. I need you to provide for me. I need you to help me to understand. I got to lay down my life like you laid down your life. Praise the Lord. Folks, I want to come to Jesus today because it requires a sacrifice. Yeah. Hallelujah. It requires giving yourself to the kingdom. Amen. Giving yourself to God. Folks don't want to be inconvenienced. Mm -hmm. Folks don't want folks talking about them. Jesus. Oh, you down there at the Holy Roman Church. You down there. Praise the Lord, where they dance and where they sing. Where they give God praise and glory. They don't think the kind of church is going to be in. They don't, but David danced before the Lord. With all of his might. Say, I thank you for what you've done. Praise the Lord. Somebody say, when I think about the goodness of Jesus. And all he talks Lord, I thank you. I 
forsake you because you delivered me from the mess I was in. You took me out of the state I was in. You saw me failing. You saw me they were going down for the last time. And you reach out and you saved me. Did you save me? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus had to die.
Yeah. Because I don't think he don't know your address. Yeah. He knows right where you live. Yeah. Jesus. He knows how to come. Pray the Lord and bless you, he said, with something. Pray the Lord, like he tried to do Jesus. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. He said, let me give you some bread. After he had fast 40 days and 40 nights, Jesus said to the devil, it's written. Yes. Say, man shall not live by bread. I see what you're offering me. I don't need you no more. I just got a word from the Lord. Church from God. Praise the Lord. He offered him all the kingdom of the world. Yeah. You just jump on. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. But you don't have to be under the spell of the devil right. no longer. Oh, all you got to say is, Lord, wash me yeah. in your blood. My faith reaches heaven. My faith believes you can do it for me. What can wash me? What is snow? What can wash me? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. I can't do enough good works that takes the blood of Jesus. From the time to work their way into heaven, they can't walk their way into heaven. We gotta be washed.
is Release your power in this place. 
Let the anointing of the Holy Ghost commune now, Lord. What miracles in the name of Jesus. Don't leave us the way we are.
Come and get it. Someone to make sure that you get it. If you raise your hand. Hallelujah. This is a very sacred time that we say to the Lord. We appreciate your death. We appreciate the bloodshed that you shed it on Calvary for us. That today we can live the abundant life. We can trust you. And we know you won't lay on us more. And we're able to bear. But you'll make a way of escape for every one of your children. Father, I thank you today. I thank you for being God. I thank you for being my Savior, my Lord. Thank you for the power of the Holy Spirit moving among your people. We thank you, Jesus. We come, Lord, with sickness in our bodies. We need your healing grace. We come, Lord, with unprofessed sins. Say, Lord, forgive us of all of our sins. Whatever is wrong, we can make it right. Hallelujah. Bless your cup. As we come to drink of your blood and to eat up your broken body. So if you do it unworthily, you do great. That makes you to your own soul. So we pray blessings today in the name of Jesus. Touch us now. Touch us now. You know what we need. Touch us now in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. We give you glory. Jesus' wonderful name. Jesus' name. Jesus name. Disciples drinking all of it. 